Hey folks, welcome back to Evo Studios. Today we're talking about the Filmic Pro app. The Filmic Pro app allows you to unlock your smartphone's camera and use it just like a high-end DSLR camera. When used in conjunction with the Evo Pro smartphone gimbal like you see right here, you're able to unlock even more features using the Filmic Pro app due to the compatibility with several of the buttons and wheel on the handle of the gimbal. First, let's talk about what the Filmic Pro app allows you to do. With the Filmic Pro, you can manually adjust features like ISO, shutter speed, exposure, white balance, focus, and zoom. In fact, the Filmic Pro app allows you to lock down shutter and ISO so you can get that native motion blur when you have a 180 degree shutter that we're always looking for as videographers and filmers uh, to get that more cinematic style look out of your image. It gives you full control over your color temperature so you can make sure that your camera is dialed in for the scene that you're shooting. One of the coolest features with the Filmic Pro app is that it has four different gamma curves to choose from. You have natural, dynamic, flat, and log. Log is an upgrade that you can get with the Filmic Pro app and allows you to get that extra bit of dynamic range if you're going to do some color grading in post. The Filmic Pro app also has live analytics. It allows you to see when your subject is in focus with the focus peaking feature. It gives you zebras, clipping, and false color, just like high-end DSLRs. The Filmic Pro app also has customizable settings such as fast motion, slow motion. You can choose from a slew of different aspect ratios and resolutions. Uh, it really allows you to customize your video for whatever medium it is that you want to display it on. The Filmic Pro library also allows you to downscale, trim, and edit your footage right there in the app. Now, with the Filmic Pro app, when used in conjunction with the Evo Pro 3-axis smartphone gimbal, it unlocks a ton of features that means you never have to touch the screen once the app is open. With the wheel on the side, you can control zoom and focus. Here you can see we're focusing, racking focus, and you see there that we have focus peaking on in the green showing us exactly the area that's in focus. If we hit the button in the lower left-hand corner, that will then enable the wheel to have zoom function. We can zoom in and out. You can do this smoother using two hands. The record button on the handle, the one with the red dot in the middle, sets the recording up on the app, as you can see right here. The button in the lower right hand corner on the handle allows you to switch from the rear mounted camera to the front facing camera. Oh, I'm blown out. Now the center wheel on the Evo Pro enables a bunch of different features. By pressing the button in the middle of the center wheel, you have three different modes that you can choose from. This mode right here allows you to lock down both exposure and focus. By pressing left, you can lock and unlock exposure by pressing right, you can lock and unlock focus. By pressing up, you can lock and unlock both. Hitting it again puts the camera into full auto mode. So you get out of the manual controls and you're now in auto. This is good probably for some certain run and gun scenarios. Press it again and now you're into the auto exposure or auto zoom modes. Press it on the left hand side of the wheel, click it in and you'll see that you have an automatic exposure. Press it again, and it comes back up. Press on the right hand side of the wheel, and you'll get a smooth pan without having to use the wheel at all. Zooming in and out. Press it again, and it comes back. Pressing up, undoes both of those and puts you back into full manual mode. You can now control exposure and zoom. When you press it down on the wheel, that takes you to your footage library. It really turns your smartphone into a high-end DSLR where you're not using it like you would normally shoot with a smartphone. That combined with the incredible stability and different options that you get when shooting with a three axis gimbal make this a total game changer. We've been shooting with this a bunch. It works really great with the Evo Pro and Evo Shift. Although with the Evo Shift, you don't get the same uh, functionality in terms of the connection with the app, but it still works great. Uh, footage just looks better when it's used on the Filmic Pro app 
We really suggest that if you're going out and trying to shoot some sort of video with your smartphone, something that you want to look really good, you want to be proud of, maybe it's something for commercial entity, I really highly suggest you get the Filmic Pro app, maybe even uh, fork up the cash for the log upgrade. That way when you get back onto your computer, uh, you have some options uh, in terms of color grading. You can do a little more in post. Um, either way, it's a great option. The best option out there uh, in our experience filming with these uh, products that there is. It might be a little intimidating at first, but once you get the hang of it, it is such a nice app to have. If you use this in conjunction with ND filters, we did a video uh, about a week or so ago about ND filters, using those with your smartphone. Uh, you can lock down the shutter, uh, like we said earlier, um, and that way you're really uh, stepping your film game up a notch, and you can really achieve some, some really high-end visuals. I know uh, some of you have seen those uh, those videos that are put out every time a new smartphone uh, comes to market and you're like there's no way that video was shot with a smartphone I got to tell you that some of the videos that I've shot uh, with the Evo Pro in conjunction with the Filmic Pro app and the set of ND filters locking down the shutter having a 180 degree shutter on that to get that motion blur I've been blown away by the results it's you really can't tell the difference um, between that and some of these higher end uh, mirrorless cameras uh, in terms of the video quality. And the fact that you can uh, take the phone off, put it in your pocket, put this thing in its case and throw it in your backpack and really not even know it's there. It can be in there with your laptop and your, your books or your notebooks or whatever else you have, your tablet. Um, and you don't have to carry around uh, a camera rig you don't have to worry about all those things that a normal videographer would have to deal with. It's a really great run and gun setup and honestly has applications for commercial use. So let us know if you have any questions about the Filmic Pro app and its use in conjunction with the Evo Pro 3-axis gimbal. Uh, it's a really incredible combo to have. Can't recommend it enough. Uh, it's been a lot of fun using this setup and I, I gotta say that it's gonna be uh, hard to get me back onto uh, the mirrorless train for a lot of uh, different videos that are just kind of quick turnaround when I know I have this option. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope uh, you know this is somewhat informative to you. I hope you guys get out there and shoot some awesome videos with the Filmic Pro app and Evo Pro Gimbal. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And remember to keep it smooth. Talk to you guys soon. Later.